Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and the first question of the day. Name the path indicated by the arrow. So what is the name of this path? Condenser would be this part of the microscope, ocular lenses would be this part of the microscope, and this part of the microscope we call objective lenses. So just memorize. Not too much to explain here. And the second question, if we want to see individual cells, what microscope would you use? Dissecting microscope or compound microscope? Right away, I want to say that we can use both of these microscopes to see individual cells, but one microscope is more suitable and can give us greater magnification. And in some plants, for example, cells can be pretty large, so we can see those cells with magnifying glass. Now I want you to take a look at this picture. So what we can see here, this is compound microscope and this is dissecting microscope. What's the difference? In dissecting microscope, we put our specimen here and in order to see the specimen, we use just uh, natural light or we can use built-in artificial light. But light just would be reflected from the specimen and goes directly here. So we usually work with our specimens if we need uh, magnification up to 50 times. And we work with between 5 and 50 times magnification with dissecting microscope. And we use compound microscope if we need magnification about 50 and up to 1,000, 200, 1,500 times. And we put our specimen here and light go through the specimen. Here it is reflected from the surface of the specimen. Here it goes through the specimen. When a specimen is very small, tiny amount, light can go freely through specimen and we can see it through eyepieces or ocular lenses. Now let's check where answer the answers. So if you want to see individual cells, we are going to use compound microscope variant B. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.